Time the fuck out. I didn't even get Fictional. started on what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bro, that movie was oh. crazy. Crazy, Franksy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, like, oh, what are the specials tonight? <laughs> yes. mm, that so sounds no good. Problem. I'll have that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey everybody, Specialist in Nothing, back at you again, talking about everything, specializing in nothing. My name is Frank. Uh, I would say, as always, Danny and Joe is with me, but it seems like just Joe is with me right now. So you want to say what's up, Joe? How we doing today? Oh, oh, they call me St. Uh, Nick. <laughs> they call me oh, 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 St. Nick. Get out of here. I still I like am- my shirt better. You, I like Merry Sickness. It's very nice. But this is my favorite outfit of the year. I wear it once a year. It's well, this now twice this year. Because now it's twice. That's it. I got my Santa hat. I got my Santa suit with my belt. I Maybe usually next put year a, we'll be big enough to get I you to wear that live somewhere. Here. Oh, man. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to put a pillow up in this bitch. And oh, y'all going to see how pregnant it's going to get. We're talking about Christmas today, motherfuckers. I love that shit. Honestly... I'm one that like once Thanksgiving is passed, I don't know what it is. I hate Christmas music all the time, but once wow. Thanksgiving day is passed up until Christmas, I do. I'll listen to Christmas music. I love it. Yeah. Christmas music is the shit, but like, I don't do these whole remix or re versions oh, no, of no. it. No I way. Can't, dude. 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 Christmas I like album was the dope. old shit. You're crazy. Insync's oh. Christmas album was dope. That was a remake thing. Oh, no, no, fam. no, no. I'm talking like the new days, like Jackson five Christmas. That I could listen to on repeat. Oh, that's just you showing your old age. You being an old head. Old head. Fuck off, man. It's true. But like Ariana Grande had a, right? She was the one that I think that did some of the Christmas album. It was either her or or maybe it was Taylor Swift. But one of them had one. I liked it. It wasn't bad. What? What did they do? They sang a song that was already written a million times over and over again. Okay. What did Mariah Carey do? Same thing. I don't like any of her. That one song. You don't like the Mariah Carey's Christmas album. Uh, yes, but I don't listen to it. What? That's my don't. favorite album to put on around Christmas time. You're out of your mind. Love out Mariah of your Ca- mind. Mariah Carey and Instinct Christmas albums, both love them both. Fam, it's Jackson Five Christmas. Mm. Elvis, <laughs> it's Christmas time. Okay, Elvis Christmas is yes. Okay, there Elvis. You go. Yeah, and you're right. Elvis like is up there. The old school shit, like the Bing Crosby's and all that, motherfuckers. Matter of fact, you know what? Because we're you talking listen about to it, it and cry and think about when you were a kid. Every single mm-hmm. time. Every single time. <laughs> like he says that, like, I remember my parents used to play this. Like, that's how you listen to that type of music. No, man. It's sad boy music, 100%. I have a whole playlist. It's like when I listen to Christmas, Christmas shoes. Yo, that's some sad shit, though. I love that song. It gets me every time. You know? Time. Dude. It gets me every time. First time I hear that every Christmas season, song gets me every time. Every time. I love the music about it. Um, Joe, we haven't heard from you at all yet, so. How's it going? It's going on Christmas, I'm, Joe. I'm sorry. I'm just looking around. Um, favorite part about Christmas? No, favorite Christmas you a caroler. Song. Oh, favorite Christmas song? No, no, no. He said favorite Christmas song. I'm saying oh, like thought, the music I, is my favorite part about Christmas. What's your favorite? I thought part about you Christmas? said, "What's your favorite Christmas song?" No, I said, "What's your favorite part about Christmas?" Okay. Like, what's your favorite? My part favorite of Christmas? part about Christmas sadly enough doesn't exist anymore i understand it's you you understand where i'm going danny you understand where i'm going with this i do it's you know my I favorite can... part about christmas is like shopping that christmas feel like of just that spirit right like growing up as a kid when like christmas was fucking awesome for me it's yeah. like uh I don't know. We're from New like York. So like spirit. going into the city, yeah, the tree, yeah. the shopping, the window displays, the snow. You know what I mean? Like that Christmas not as many spirit everywhere. Now. Yeah, I hear you. Right. It's almost like all these holidays are just fucking dying out, bro. You drive around, nobody has. It's either you have the people that are decorating for Christmas in the beginning of November, or you have nobody decorating at all. It's, it's like the same. The spirit are definitely is gone. dying. Yeah, right, you go to the city, you don't even really even you can't even tell it's fucking Christmas time. You know what I mean? It's just like nothing is 
I don't know that this year it's going to help because it seems like we're going to have a white Christmas already. It snowed two times in New York already. So it's only been a couple days. I I hope so. They said there's a shortage of Christmas trees. Really? Yeah. Bro, there's a shortage of everything this year, so that does make sense. But I can't believe there's actually a shortage of Christmas trees. Yo, we're actually going to chop our own tree down this year. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm excited. Something something I've never done. One of the that's really so actually I've never done that, but every year I make sure I get a real Christmas tree because my mom always got a real Christmas tree. Like she was just big on like always getting a real tree. So ever since she passed, like I've gotten a real Christmas tree every Christmas, every year. I always make sure I buy a real one. I never get a fake one. So uh, this year Karen was like, oh, let's let's chop down our own. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's go do it. So we're supposed to be pretty. That's really dope. Yeah, I can't wait. That should be fun. Mm-hmm. Should be a good time, dude. I've I, never been. I know you probably have to use a saw or like they use like a chainsaw and like do it for you or something like that. I wish they would like give you an axe and like send you to go like cut actually cut your own tree down because I would love to like hack my own tree with an axe. Do you have to bring your own? You know, you don't bring your own materials, right? Your own tools. I don't think so I don't know. I gotta look into it. I'll call I the think place you before we go. To be honest, I think you do, or I think it really just depends on where you're going. Yeah, that's probably true. Probably I know my cousins, place. they go do that shit, my aunt and uncles, and they bring their own shit, bro. They literally go right into really? an area, yeah, like a, a tree farm, and they fucking just hack down whatever tree they want, bring it to the front, boom, pay for it and go. That's cool. Yeah. I would rather that. I know that when my sister went, I saw, like, the video on her Facebook or whatever, and it was, like, one of the workers that had, like, a chainsaw cut it down and, like, brought it up for them. Like, they just picked it out. Right, it's I would thing. rather Maybe actually do it myself, you know? Yeah, right. so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call before we go then and make sure that I get a place like that because that just yeah you know, makes it more fun, especially for yeah, the it makes kids it so much more official. Like yeah, I've, I've never had a real tree. tree. I've always <laughs> got <laughs> fake trees. Really, Same. always had a yeah. fake tree. Always. I love the smell I think, of a real I think tree. like one I hate or two the years we did it. The pine, the pine sap. needles suck. Sap everywhere. Yeah, don't get me wrong. The mess of it does suck every year. I curse it every year when I'm cleaning up all the time and doing the stuff, and when we throw the tree out, it sucks. You're like, like fucking forty six percent more of a chance of it catching on fire. Like you know what I mean? I no, know, but a lot of the, bad things. the smell yeah. of the real tree. I just I don't know. I love it. I just remember. Oh yeah, it takes me back to when smell. I was a kid and like yeah. Christmas time being in the house and like it just makes me like I don't know. You know a good trick to that, Frank? A good fucking. Oh, the pine get, spray. Get, get, get a fake, get a fake yeah. tree and get a really good candle bowl, <laughs> put it right on this side table next to nah. the tree, and boom, you're in a fucking winter winterland of nah, it's trees. Fake. <laughs> it's, it's artificial. That's like impossible <laughs> burger stuff. No. Mm-mm. No, I feel you. I don't know, dog. You know what fucking I love smelling though? Snickerdoodle cookies. Really? Yeah. Okay, so wait, oh. favorite smell around Christmas time then. So wait. Danny, you got snickerdoodle cookies? I didn't say that. I just said I'm you know, smell I love. Oh, okay. Well, the well, reason why I, I got a, so I got much, a favorite smell around Christmas time. I would probably say, yeah, most likely it's snickerdoodle cookies. But I, it's wait. only because when I worked in Disney, you would go around to the restaurants and they would give out hot chocolate and snickerdoodle cookies. So I associate Christmas with that snickerdoodle okay. cookie. My so favorite, what's your favorite Christmas smell. Smell? Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. no, no. I'm gonna I say that should be it. That's fine. That's okay. it. Okay. Joe, what's your favorite Christmas smell? No, I feel bad for Danny right now, man. Why? He just cut his ass off. No, he, so was about the, so he was all excited about to tell you his favorite smell. No, because he said, well, I guess it will be. And then he said, why? So I thought Santa he was done. I didn't know he was going to say that. Come on, man. Let I'm him go. Sorry, Santa. I'm sorry, Santa. No, it's okay. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't going to. I mean, I was. Snicker. Right, my, my, like my favorite. Snicker. My cookies. favorite. All right, Danny. You, you, I gave you a second chance. You fucked up, so. My pine. favorite smell is pine. I love the pine smell. The pine oh, tree. tree. But wait, yeah. does that remind you of Christmas or does that? Uh, all right. So to go back pine real quick and Christmas. recant on like an actual answer for like my favorite thing about Christmas is the smells. I love the smell. Gingerbread. Of Christmas. Mm-hmm. Gingerbread, wreath, peppermint, pine, uh, all that shit. It's just shit, so Mine good. is like the spiced apples, like the apple oh, and the spiced, spiced apple. apples, the like pecan pies. My bro. grandma oh, every my year God. around the summer. Wait, is it pecan or pecan? Pecan. No. No, it's pecan, pecan, but I love saying pecan. No, it's just Frank said this in his own. He was like, yeah, I'm going to agree with Joe. Oh, Joe bailed? Never mind. I'm going to agree with me. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, I, I, I it's pecan. Um, it's pecan. It's not pecan. pecan. No, if it's, it's pecan, it would be like, double A. I know. It's pecan. 
It has. The it just sounds cooler. Symbol thing over it. That's why. It's like caramel, caramel. It's no, fucking see, caramel. Caramel and caramel are spelled different ways, but people tend to still call it caramel when it says caramel. Yes. But no. Okay. Yeah. So the apple cinnamon thing. Those people are going on the naughty list. Those like. You know when you go in the supermarket and they have like the pine cones that are in the net that smell like that, like spiced apple or whatever? Like those are my favorite. Yeah, I always yeah. buy those around the holidays because my grandma always just yeah. They're like the scent, the bowl scent fillers. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, it's like the potpourri. Potpourri. <laughs> there is something that I love, though, about having a white Christmas. Like you mentioned it before. Having I really a hope white we Christmas do this year. Is something that's beyond magical and it sounds and it really hasn't corny happened in a long time either it it's been a while you know, it is especially like nine it's with the whole like mo of christmas Actually, i feel like every Google time it. christmas has come in like the last few years or whatever at least the last like four or five years it has not been white on the day of christmas like even if it snowed like a week before christmas it wasn't like white snowfall on the ground on christmas for a while or at least yeah. most of the last 10 years you know what i mean and it's funny because mm-hmm. yeah, when we were kids, like I always remember like waking up, having Christmas, and then going outside playing in the snow. That was the shit. You would open up your toys, you'd get dressed, you'd go out to play, you'd come back in, you have hot cocoa, you yeah, like fucking exactly. tomato come back soup, in when you got cold, and you play with your out toys. For a little bit. That's it. I remember the last dude. time, so as per this website, says the last time we had snow on the ground for Christmas was December 25th, 2009. I was right. Yeah, it was a see, snowstorm dude, before that's that. 12 yeah. years ago. Yeah, bro. That's just nuts. So I really hope it happens this year. I'm happy that we started seeing snow already. It does seem like it's getting cold already this year. Like it's been consistently oh, it's freezing in the 30s. Out. Yeah, freezing so like, out. All we need is like exactly a couple big like rainstorms to come by and it's cold enough to where it's going to be snow. So it'll be nice. But honestly, that's my favorite part. Like I'm a winter person, like in the summertime. Karen can very rarely get me outside unless it's like the pool or there's like some type of shade or something like that. So I really don't like some to go type sit of in the shade. Sun. I really don't like to go sit in the sun. I really don't. I hate the heat. But in the winter time, bro, last winter when it snowed, like after Christmas, I was outside with my kids for nine hours and made an igloo on my front lawn, like a full real igloo with benches inside that. and like whatever. It was dope. I'm doing it again this year. You kidding me? My kids are old enough to like actually enjoy it and stuff like that. I I'm love the winter and the snow. It's yeah, you said that last year. You didn't know. You didn't tell me when you were doing it. You just uh, hey, look what I did. I was like, oh, okay, cool. No, I'm just kidding. But no, but uh, I am excited about that, and I'm excited to go sledding this year. Shout out to Danny sledding. because he knows last year what I went through. I wanted to take the kids oh. sledding. I had no sleds. I couldn't find them in time. Like it had already snowed, and there was no places that had them now. So like a month ago, this guy goes, "Yo, I was driving, and somebody was throwing out these two sleds. They were perfectly fine. Like nothing was Boom. wrong with them. So I took them." He threw them in my backyard. One of them is a four-person long, like, bobsled. I'm so mm-hmm. excited to use this thing. I can't wait. Hell, yeah. So. I love sledding. I like those old-school ones, like the wooden ones where you kind of, like, steer yeah. it, but don't really steer it because you're going to crash into the tree anyway. It's got, like, the like, red oh. blades at yeah. the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking so dangerous wipeout? nowadays. You ever Hell have yeah. a bad wipeout sledding? Yeah. I can't recall. Bro, I'm going to go with no if I can't recall, but I used to, when I lived in Jersey, right? It was this one area that the hill is so massive. And we used to like, I used to live on the beach at that point in my life. Like I would like bodyboard, boogie board, whatever you want to call what? it. So like we, <laughs> we had them mm-hmm. and it had the slick bottoms Yeah, and bro, skin you boards. know, yeah, skin boards, but we had like really good fucking special ones. And, dude, we would fly down the hill. And, like, we would fucking fly. We would build two, three-foot high, big, long jumps. And we would fly down this shit and hit these things, bro. We'd be, like, fucking eight feet in the air. And he was going crazy fast. fast. So I've had some bad wipeouts. We'd build snowmen and hit the jump and fucking land over the Into snowmen. This, yeah, that sounds awesome. Right. And yeah, onto it. Oh, like my God. We did really crazy, really fun did. things back then, man. Like, growing up, I was in Vegas from, like, 8 to, like, you know, 16. Oh, so you missed out, bro. You it, missed really out. Sled like sledding that down that sand much. dunes. And so, like, yeah, I really never did that much. Like, when we went up to go to Mount Charles or something like that, go snowboarding and stuff, or, like, we went to Utah, Brian had something like that, I would go tubing and, like, snowboarding and stuff like that, but I never actually really did sledding like that. So yeah. that's why, like, I really do want to do stuff like that and stuff with the kids. But last year it was funny because the reason I brought up the wipeout is I made, like, on my front steps, it's, like, four steps. 
and I made like a big slide out of the mound of snow from the first morning we woke up. And then my kids had like this like plastic like rocking horse that was like all solid one piece of plastic. So the bottom was like slick. And I let Mia go on it and go down. And as soon as she hit the bottom, the nose like hit and she flipped over the handlebars and got a face full of snow. And it was <laughs> such a funny wipeout. And I just, yeah, like that's something that I never really had to be honest with you. Or at least that I remember anyway, because I left when I was like seven, eight years old. I don't really remember that, you know? Right. I have a plastic snowboard. I mean, uh, s- snowboard, yeah. And it's been like fucking in my basement for mad long. I don't know why I pointed up when I said basement. <laughs> I'm in- laughing because he said snowboard. No, wait. It's in my basement. Yeah, snowboard in the basement. <laughs> he pointed to the attic. <laughs> I had a moment. It's fun. it's fun, but I like sledding better. I love when it fucking snows in the morning and then at night, not throughout the day. I want to wake up to see snow or I want to go to sleep and see snow. It's so fucking peaceful and beautiful, bro. At the fucking, at the night. I'd, ra- I'd rather it snow from like five or like whatever in the morning, like as I'm waking up until like six or seven o'clock at night and then stop at night. Like I love when it's snowing all day. I love when it snows like really hard, big snow, but wait, yeah, like, doesn't really stick, stick. You know what I mean? Oh, so yeah. it's like coming down hard, but it's like hitting the floor and like the floor is just, it looks like it rained. It's just kind of clear. With the mounds of snow on the side. I like oh, that. It's beautiful. Chill. And I it's hate like, because that that's when you get the bottom of your pants get wet and shit. No, yeah. well, because after it snows like that and you look into a really heavily like area of trees when all the leaves are off and all that snow is sitting on all those fucking trees. It, it does weird. look dope. It does yeah, look but see, awesome, like bro. even without the, the like the falling or disappearing on the ground, that's just because it's still warmer on the ground from like cars, whatever hasn't like gotten cold enough. Right. And the trees get it first. But like any first snowfall when anything is covered perfectly and not touched yet, I agree. That's just awesome. It's great. Oh, it's awesome. But I you know hate what? when it's wet on the ground because exactly that means it's warm enough to be wet and then the bottom of your pants get wet or you can step in a puddle still. Or, You're wet no matter that. what. I'd rather no, because that's what I was gonna say. When it's snow and it's full snow and it's like a heavy snowstorm, not no, not necessarily when you're walking on top of it. You don't have to He's be wet. got a valid point. So but, I, yeah, that, I gotta say, I think my my the, <laughs> it, for me at least, the best part of snow is when it, it it's like the first time it snows and it's like that sheet of virgin snow and it hasn't been touched yet Absolutely. and it's just like fucking blanket over snow. Oh. <laughs> no oh. i knew that i told you that no but i love it like my favorite thing is like an actual snow day it's like you wake up and it's snowing so bad and like oh my god there's so much snow for me to dig my car out i can't make it to work today and then you go outside and play with the kids and it's still snowing until like four o'clock and it was just snow yeah. all day like that's the best snow day to me I honestly don't even mind shoveling. Me neither. I love I'm, shoveling. I'm, I'm about it, you know? I love shoveling. I fucking I jam. I put my headphones on. Mm-hmm. I got the Christmas songs going, the tunes. Same. You know, you know what? I'm not One. cold because I'm getting a sweat going from, like, keeping up a pace on the shoveling. Like, I love it. I honestly do. And me personally, because I'm such a winter person, I have a lot of waterproof stuff. Like, I have snowboarding pants, like DC snowboarding pants that I just wear in the winter just because – they're comfortable. They don't make me sweat, and I stay dry. Yeah. Same thing with my jacket, or I have like waterproof, like th- uh, insulated gloves. Boots, so yeah. Like they have like my boots have like furry inside, so they're like insulated. My feet stay warm. I'll stay out in the fucking snow in those things for fucking eight, ten hours and not care. All day. All day. All day. Schmidt status. So yeah. <laughs> I have, I have like a Christmas playlist, and I just found it because it was on like Apple Music, or whatever. Do you want to hear? Do you want to hear the very first part of? The very first song on the playlist to kind of get it going for me. This is where I know shit's about to go down. You ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not it, man. <laughs> not it. I thought Kim's Convenience was coming back. <laughs> really? From Home Alone? Yeah, that's that's the first song. And then I get into it. I love that obviously, Christmas song. I do. That's a great Christmas song. Right after that, my favorite is probably these are a few of my favorite things. Okay. Love it. And then it's gonna be probably Jackson Five, that whole album. And Mariah Carey. I love it. You gotta love it, but it's it's it was better when it was then. Now I'm just like, oh god, I can't anymore with this. No I'll still fucking jam every single time. She's but still my number one. Number one? Number one. Joe, what do you think? You top like three or four. I don't even tell you that. I don't know, man. I just like Christmas music in general. 
like the original Last soundtrack. Christmas, I gave you my heart, and the very next day, you remember that shit? You gave it away. You know, see, that I, song. My, my favorite. I'm not one of those guys that jams Christmas music. What? Like if it's really? on, I play it. Yeah, but like oh, okay. I don't purposely. But put you don't it like on. go to uh, see like miss you, know you most mean? at Christmas time by Mariah Carey is one of my number one favorite songs. Okay. I love that song. Um, I like the. I think it's This Christmas by NSYNC. Um, I like the Jackson 5 album a little bit. The Elvis, that one is more, I'll put the yeah. Elvis one on, especially like around nighttime, like when it's like more chill time, like 7, 8 o'clock, whatever, I'll put that on or something like that. So, um, but yeah, see, I, I agree with you. I like a lot more of the classics in the sense of the music, but I do like, like when I play stuff, I usually use a lot of the streaming services now. So like like Spotify or YouTube or whatever. Right. So mixes so just through. Kinda- it, like the next song will automatically come up on its own if you don't pick the next one. So there are times where like certain newer ones come on and I do like them. There's some I don't like and I skip, but I like some of the newer ones. But no, like Miss You Most of Christmas Time, the Christmas Shoe song. I like a lot of the sad ones, to be honest. Those are like my favorites. You know what fucks me up? It's not a sad song. It's a very funny song, but it has a very, I guess it's very meaningful to me. Okay. Is... Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Really? <laughs> yeah, I love this song. And my Your grandfather didn't get run and I. Over by a reindeer? No, she didn't. But my grandfather and I always had this ongoing joke about it. So whenever oh, it came okay. on, we would look at each other, we'd laugh, and he'd make a joke like, "I'm gonna push <laughs> grandma outside, and you and me can have all the, we'll have all the presents and the hot chocolate." And I'm like, "Yeah, that's grandpa, let's do it." Freaking amazing. That oh, is. It's, that's. I get that. It's that's... good and speaking of it is things have been it's it's fucking let me let me <clears throat> things just ain't the same mm-hmm. and we can say that with a lot of things for better or for worse but to not have my grandfather around for christmas it fucking sucks man you know not to put a damper on it but I, no, you that's know, why i just said it's getting real. Understand you're going with people that. who understand okay. people who lost a loved one in the past However long for me, it's more recent. It's within. Oh two yeah, the years length now. don't matter. Once you it lose doesn't. someone, I'm sorry, that don't ever go away. Absolutely Especially not. if it's someone that's that close to you, that it don't ever go away. It's easier you know? to get through the day and know that you have to move on and kind of go and whatever. But when the times come up where the remembrance is there or those Just things happen, holidays, or like whatever stuff like that, I'm sorry, it never gets easier. No way, man. You know, you may get like, over it, like in the sense of, like I said, to keep going on and stuff, but. Once you, every time you think about that person that's gone, it don't matter. It never gets any easier. Yo, so the just, holidays always suck in that sense. So that's why I said like a lot of my favorite songs are like the sadder the songs and stuff because yeah. yeah, it makes me think of my mom, dude. Like Christmas shoe song. Why do you think that makes me break down? He's literally talking about his mom and how he's dying, his buying stuff shoes. He's, yeah, bro. I was my mom had cardiomyopathy. She had two heart transplants. We were in and out of the hospital all the time. So for me, like that song after that came like came around to me and like I was a teenager and like, yeah, dude, every fucking time, every fucking time. So it never gets any easier. And even now still, I'll post every year, like, you know, miss you and this and that. So like, dude, I totally get you. Like it, it, that's one thing that you're always going to exact. And that's why I was bringing it up. So it's, it's cute because even like how I said, like, I was like, oh, she didn't get over and over I did not expect you to say that, but that is an yeah. awesome, like cute grandpa, yeah. like grandson story that like, <laughs> That made that awesome, dude. And that's great. But see, like, that's what the holidays are all about. And people don't embrace that anymore. Like, exactly like how you guys said, like, it's not the same anymore. Like, is that it's up to us to keep things like that around? Like, I say the same things to my sister, like starting new Christmas traditions or doing things like that. Like, that's all up to us. It's always, you know, like, we are the ones that are responsible to make plans to do those things or whatever. Like, you calling your newer, younger cousins, your sister, this and that, making it every Christmas. Your parents and your grandparents aren't always going to be around. We are the next parents and grandparents or whatever. Like that's yeah. why I think that way now because I am a parent. So like, even if you're not a parent yet, but you are at that stage where you are like in your thirties, right? Yeah, it is up to you to keep your family traditions around. So for anyone out there like that's listening, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you should. If there's anything that's special in your family that you feel like hasn't been done in a long time, go do it this year. Go do it this year. Go fucking. You know, make a bunch of people in your family happy that are going to be like, oh, my God, I forgot about that. I remember that. That's awesome. We need to get back to doing that and yeah. bringing that Christmas spirit back. Because, again, there's so many people that aren't in the streets like that anymore, like in the city or doing certain things or doing that Christmas spirit event. Like even in, sh- in terms of shopping, like because that's what I thought he was going to say when he was like, oh, they don't have it anymore. Is because shopping like Amazon and stuff took over. Like there is no Christmas yeah. shopping like that anymore. You know what I mean? Like it is, but it isn't, you know, so. It's just, I don't know. Sorry, I went a little long. 
<laughs> I was getting a little passionate. <laughs> Passion. Yeah. Um, I guess everybody has like Christmas memories and shit. And I think for me, I love Christmas. It was always been my favorite holiday up until I'd say like the last maybe five or six years personally, but I still love it. I love everything about it. And what you're saying about traditions, I, I want that. I want to build the traditions, but I guess I don't see that it's up to me yet. You know, I don't have my own family. So I'm not like, oh guys, we're going to do this this year. I'm still following well, you do have your own family, even the though you family don't have your own, tradition. You like, I don't have, have my own kids. children. I was like, you don't have your own kids, but you have a family. Like, think about, like, in the sense of, like I said, between your birth, I mean, between your sister, like your cousins that go to Cali with you, that you're close with, whatever, your birthday, all of our best friends, that's all family to me. Like, that means something. Like, right. Even if you think of those family traditions and family Christmases back in the day, your parents still had friends that came on certain Christmases or family friends that they were close with or this and that, blah, blah, blah. So, that still counts. Those are the things that you're going to make now. So you don't have to have kids to make that. You know what I mean? You don't have to necessarily, it's you making that connection of yeah, feeling that way on your own of feeling that way. But once you feel that to way, break away from family to make a new family tradition, you know, like if you don't breaking away from family, well, to make a hear new me out. Tradition. Like it's different because with you and your sister, you live in two different States, but let's say every year for the past 15 years, you guys have been getting together and doing whatever celebrating Christmas. And then this year you're like, you know what? Laura, I'm going to do something different this year. We're gonna, Karen and I are going to go blah, blah, blah. And maybe you spend Christmas Day with Karen's family, Christmas Eve with your family, however it works out. Mm-hmm. It's just when you're with the same family for X amount of years, you can't, it's, I don't say you can't, but it's just kind of difficult to break away and start something new without but that other family feeling like. you're saying once there is a like, tradition, it's hard to transition to a different tra- t- tradition. I would think so, own. but I haven't done it one is, I'll say it is, but you can't do it without doing it. Like you literally have to say like, Hey, this year I'm going to do like, I, so I said that to my sister, I said, listen, we've been trying to move to Pennsylvania blah, blah, blah. probably by next year. Cause obviously even if I did it this year in time, it'd be too close. But by next year, I'm, I told her, I said, listen, Thanksgiving, I want to host every year Christmas. You know, we could do with our in-laws, blah, blah, blah. but Thanksgiving I'm hosting me and you our side of the family every year. That's going to be our new tradition. Christmas, we can go do with our in-laws and snack. New Year's, we'll figure it out. But I want Thanksgiving. Right. That's going to be my new tradition. I made that break this year. And now next year, it won't be a tradition. But the year after, that'll be the first year that it'll be a tradition. And then continuing on from and that. You and it only is a tradition if you make it that. If you make that distinct switch, if you call that shot and say, this is what I'm going to do. Whoever wants to be a part of it can be a part of it. But this is going to be my thing. And that's what makes it a tradition is by you doing that you know what i mean like everyone has a different tra- tradition whether you were a part of it or not is something but like like if your parents hosted christmas eve every year that was their tradition if your aunts or whatever came that's great that they were a part of that tradition but it was your parents tradition because they were the ones that hosted that every year gotcha. so that's why like when i say it's your job True. to make the tradition like when i say to my sister thanksgiving is gonna be my tradition and 10 years from now our family is going to have that tradition but it's going to be known as my tradition because i'm the one that hosted that every year and i hope that other people in my family pick up off that and start doing other things like like because I've said this to my sister. Right. So I'm hoping she does something like that or like Laura does the Halloween party every year. Laura has a tradition; she does the Halloween thing every year. You know what I mean? Like so, by us doing those things, that's how we're going to start to make new traditions in the future. And now we're all thirty, so by the time we are forty, by the time we are more fully familyized or however you want to put that, you know, like we all have familyized. Like I, like I like that word. No, I really do. Oh, good. But, uh, you know, then, then we'll already be there. We'll already have those traditions and our kids will already just be brought up into them and to right. know what they are because they're already traditions because we made them. You don't have to wait till you have kids to do that. You just have to have that mindset. I guess so. You're not wrong entirely. Now, I'm not going to say you're wrong at all, but in this situation, if you don't have people to do a tradition with, exactly that's where no, it's or depending on there might be certain people in your life that you don't want to mesh for a tradition you know there yes. might be certain two different types of family that you're like no nah, we can't get them together i'm not i'm not hosting nothing so it's it tough, definitely depends man. on everyone's situation absolutely but at the end of the day i do agree that it's always up to us to have our own traditions and however you want to have them and if, if they're that important to you because at the end of the day some people might not be that important to no you're right um Joe, what is do you have do you guys have like a tradition or something that you guys used to do all together? Uh, yes. Um okay, so for most people that don't know, uh, my younger brother passed away a little more than a year ago. I don't really talk about it much. It's kind of fresh, a little sensitive. But Christmas was like a big thing on my family. 
And uh, we did have a tradition every year. My whole entire family got together and we decorated our Christmas tree. We always did like a different kind of theme every year, blast Christmas music, had dinner, the whole, you know, shablam. So like that tradition's kind of just not really a thing anymore. Uh, I mean, I'm sure the remainder of my family will start doing it again, but it just, again, it's only been a year, right? It's just been tough. So that was kind of like a tradition that I had that I always relate to Christmas but other than that, you know, Christmas was Christmas. Christmas Day, we open our gifts, have Christmas yeah. dinner, invite the family over. Back then, it was so much bigger. But again, like, I guess as people get older and things happen, you know, it just didn't happen as much. But yeah, Christmas was like a big thing for me growing up, man. Uh, we- even, even before my brother, like, we just, it was always like a big family thing. My mom makes a big dinner. I was just going to ask when you guys, let's say what Christian was, the Christian was like five, you were what, 11 or, or, uh, no, eight you were not years right? older. I was, I'm eight years older than him. You're eight years older than him. Yeah. Okay. So when he was five, you were what, 13 mm-hmm. and Diana was what, 10. She was four years younger than me. So she yeah, was, so yeah, so nine. She was nine. Okay. So can you reminisce i mean this i don't need to get into it i know it's, it's very sad I, you know i miss nah, it's all good but like the way i think about my sister is when she was seven and i was 10 because we're so innocent we get these like power ranger toys and we fucking fight with them and we had a great time what is something that you can remember like with your brother and your sister is there one specific christmas that you can reflect back on and be like that was my favorite christmas I know it's like off the top of your head. It's kind of random to ask Frank. You too. Anything with you and Laura? I do. But I, do. I'm waiting for I mean, you, not really. I mean, specifically with the three of them. Like, if you you want me to include a, a specific Christmas with my siblings, or do you want me to include like my favorite Christmas? I remember. I mean, myself. either way, either way. But I because when I was I, younger, I was like the spoiled child. I had yeah. fucking. <laughs> thousands of things <laughs> everywhere i'd walk down oh. i believed in santa my dad dressed up as santa i thought Yo, i was catching dope. santa slip into my house you know what i mean awesome. it was like Yo. that shit was the best i'll never forget those days like that's i used to good. come in and be amazed at what the hell santa brought for me you know what i mean it was like actual like i believed i have to I say love i that. love that for my kids because karen's dad and, and- uh, her stepmom definitely do that for my kids, a hundred percent. I like when we go to their house, it's like presents every friggin' way. And even when they send them here and stuff, it, they so much. And even like Ryan's mom always over gets gifts and this that. So I have that for my kids, but I can't say that I always had that. Like in a sense of where, like when I came out, it was like so many things. Like my parents did a great job, really wrong. right? But not in a sense of like that. Like my dad never dressed up as Santa. <laughs> so, like, but that's awesome that like your family was like that. And like that, that's that's fucking great, dude. That's exactly very grateful. Yeah, about, that I, you know? I was raised on shit like that. I was that. just saying, that's it's good it was, that you're but... grateful because there's some kids that wouldn't even fucking appreciate that. You know what I mean? Nah, uh, things are different though. Like shit wait, like that. Two things real quick because I know I'm sorry to cut you off, but I want you to say your tradition because you didn't mention your tradition. We both because I said the Christmas tree. My mom always getting the real Christmas right. tree. And then he said that. But the other thing is, I want to say, just because when Joe said that, it had me think of something. I just want to ask this real quick. And I, I wrote it down so I didn't forget. Is a tradition realized as a tradition after it stops? Like, do you not realize it's a tradition until no. something happened to where somebody like, like, because for me, like, I didn't realize, like, you know, that that was a tradition for my family until my mom was gone. And then I wanted to do it. Or like, you know what I no, mean? No, like, I think what... a tradition, it, I mean, I don't know the exact rules, but I'm going to say like three or four years of doing the same thing annually. Right, two, tradition. three times. Well, no, that's the definition yeah, of a like, tradition. Okay, just... But no, I'm not saying the definition. I'm saying it, it when it's Does realized it to be. Yeah, like when it's recognized to be a tradition, is it because of like after? Or you think people actually no, I still think realize even it when, no, Dory. when it happens? Yeah, yeah. because like, For let's example, say. What? Go ahead, go ahead. No, I, I've been dating Alyssa six years now. And like a thing now that has become part of our lives is we do her family does a big Christmas Eve thing and my family does Christmas. Like that's how we usually split it. It's just what they've always done and it's what I've always done. So it kind of works out. But like their family tradition is they all go to the aunt and uncle's house, all of us, the whole entire family. And like we have dinner and we sing 
a song like it's a family song they made up it's fun everybody okay, gets an index card cool. right cool. it's like we still do it every year it's you know they plan to do it for many years right, going so yeah, forward I, I and it's you. like it's a tradition they've been doing it since like mid 90s you know what i mean when all the kids That's were born cool tradition, and, actually i gotta say I like you know that. what i mean yeah. and yeah it's cool we all get together it's fun we everybody exchanges little gifts we do a lot I, of funny I things say, i'm jealous of certain people's traditions like that like that's an awesome tradition i saw this one on TikTok yeah it's really family cool. for their birthday it. every time they bring you your, your birthday cake you have to flip the cake flip it yeah i yeah. was like what i've never that's so awesome like i, I wish recently my family had some cool too, traditions yeah. like yeah. that like oh. fun shit but Start Danny, making so what's it. Your, what's, That's it. Yeah, right. You're right. Every I, year for I Mia's said. birthday, you shove her face in the cake. They're like it's tradition, babe. I did it for Ari yeah. this year. I know. Ari so. is two. She just turned two on November 11th. When we went to Florida, they had the cake. They sang Happy Birthday. The next day, another family like relative came from Karen's uh, dad's side, and uh, they uh, she was there, so they wanted to sing a Happy Birthday again. So since it was the second day we sang a Happy Birthday, when the candles were blown out. I was like, Ari, right, what's that? And I pointed close to the cake and she went like this and I just pushed her face right oh in the God. cake. God. It was so perfect, dude. She cried. It was so funny. <laughs> it was so She cried. She had, it worked out frosting, perfect. She had frosting all up in her nose. It was so funny. I got her face That's in great. there. And, uh, but it was, it was, it was funny. I have to say. For, I got her little face <laughs> in the cake. I did. She did it you got to she I mean, is not you specifically, the second but. child is is oh I'm sorry she is she deserved that 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 if that's what I got to do for her being bad all year I'm cool I, I got <laughs> it in damn kids aggressive up in this piece you got to be careful with that if you do it to other people on the cakes because when they get a nice cake done they have those wooden dowels in there oh, yeah, that are keeping true. the layers up so I fucking was working yeah, on it's not like a basic sheet cake or something bro 2018 Somebody did that for their birthday and they got fucking punctured into their cheek. I was like, dude, an inch higher, you would have been blind. Oh, crazy. God, that's crazy. crazy. Hit the wooden dowel was sticking out of his cheekbone. Yeah, we got a, a Minnie Mouse thing that was like Rice Krispie Treats on top of like this big cake for Ari the first year. And yeah. yeah, it had like those wooden posts in it. You know so, what I'm yeah. talking about? I got the camera with that shit. That's funny. I would have never thought of that though if you didn't say that. Yeah, boy. All right, so um, what's your question. favorite Christmas well, tradition? Go ahead, Joe. What's your question? I'll, I'll get to mine because oh, mine. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. We no, got to no, finish. We got to finish. We got to finish because I have Don't forget, oh, forget what you're going to say, Joe. Write it down. I'm not going to write it down. I wrote down, down. Well, I wrote down mine because I didn't want to forget. It's my one and only question that I wanted to ask. <laughs> I can't fuck this up then. Well, right. based on what you were saying, how your dad used to dress up, my uncle Donnie, rest in peace, also used to dress up. And up until I was maybe 13, 14, I was like, yo, motherfucker Santa Claus is real he comes to my house every year I take pictures with him dude throughout middle school I was like I really thought like he was fucking a real thing I didn't stop believing until I was like maybe 11 12 I questioned it 13 is when my uncle I found out that my uncle would dress up as Santa because I was the, I was the only boy and I'm the you didn't oldest. notice it was your uncle's face at 12 years old dude. like let me tell you something. the the cost The quality of the costume was oh, okay. like authentic, All authentic. Right. All right. And he wouldn't put a pillow. He would. He was fat, but also he had he had a little belly. But he would fluff it up nice with yeah. the beard, everything. He'd come in with a, with a pillowcase or a, a, a fucking bag of toys, and he was a carpenter. So he wrote my name D A N N Y on a train, and it would connect. And my grandfather was a painter, so he would paint it. So every year, like, you know how the Hess truck comes out every year? Yeah, yeah. Every year I would get a new, a new letter. Toy, and it would be dope. No, not that's a new awesome. letter, a new toy. Oh. That's but dope, that bro. was tradition for us. You know, I was, like I said, I'm the oldest by, I think, eight years. My sister's three years younger. But he would come in. He would give out toys. Uh, we'd fucking sing. And he'd bring the little bell. And then he would dip. And then I'd be like, Uncle Don. You guys sucked. You guys had awesome family. <laughs> no, did did you just I don't say ever you remember were older Santa coming to my Christmas? Years. My, yeah, it's me and my sister, who's three years younger than me. And then the next one, I think right now, I hope I don't fuck this up, but I think she's 26 or 25. Oh, I thought you talking about you and your sister. I thought you said you're no, eight years no, no, apart. No, no. And in the same time, no, he said three years. Cousin, he meant from his three other years younger. Oh, yeah. And every year, oh, my Uncle Donnie would, he'd, he'd leave throughout the back of the door he'd get dressed downstairs come out through the back leave through the back come around and knock on the front door and then leave and i'd be like 
Uncle Donnie, you miss Santa Claus. And he's like, oh, man, again? I'm like, yeah, you got you to gotta stay here and catch him next time. That's funny. So, Can I ruin something for you guys? They would all fucking play cards around the table and get drunk. And I'm sitting there. It's like fucking one o'clock in the morning. And we sing the first Noel when Jesus, baby Jesus was born. Like any Christmas I remember, it. like even when I was younger, like, I don't know, nine, 10 or whatever. I knew that it was not real. So I, yeah, I was the kid that told other kids in school. Well, I was totally I was the, the kid, kid that'd be like, dude, you in the face if you told me that Santa wasn't real because he's coming to my house every year giving me. Uh, and I would have told you it's somebody dressed up in a Santa costume that impersonates him. Like that's what I was that kid in school I, that had fights with kids and been like, no, dude, it's all fake. Like my mom told me it's fake. Like everybody dresses up like this, and like your parents are still lying to you. That's all. I would have totally said that to you, and you would have went home and been like, are you really lying to me? And they would have been like, no. And you would have been like, oh okay. I was that. Why are you kid. like this? Why are you know. like this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Honestly, I, can I say it's probably because you guys had awesome fucking families that had Santa come to your house and my well, fucking family sucked. Man, no, maybe kidding. they were just sick of it. Like, nah, he ain't coming this year. Uh, I mean, I'm not so, gonna lie. Like, I always remember having dope Christmases and stuff like my grandma and my uncles and everybody getting together and cooking and like my mom always hosting and stuff like that. I do always remember that stuff like up until I was like 15. And it was always fun. And then even after my mom passed, like my grandma, my uncles and stuff would still always host stuff and like everything before we all like separated from Vegas and then yeah. they all went back to Pennsylvania. But like, I do remember that, but it wasn't like what you guys are saying. Like that's like, it was just us getting together as a family and like having dinner. Like, you know what I mean? Like having all the fish and stuff. Like no Santa ever showed up. It wasn't like, up until we, like we got the one present on Christmas Eve. <laughs> up until like 2003 was the best years of my life. As far as holidays go. After that, for awesome. some reason went down. That's Joe, see, this is why I, I want to hear this question. Though. I've been itching it. <laughs> Fourth oh, yeah, of July is your favorite holiday. Holiday? Yeah. What's your favorite Christmas movies? What? Wait, are we doing top five? Top ten? You want to do top <laughs> five? You don't get top and, ten and no and no, 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 time. no die hard shit, man. I mean, like actual fucking Christmas movies. Wait, but right. unless, Die Hard unless, is a Christmas unless, movie. It's not on right. my top five. I'm saying, it is a Christmas is, movie. unless it is your fucking top five, then say it. If not, don't even, please let's not with the Die Hard being a Christmas movie or not. Shit. Mm. Motherfucker All right. Jones. All right. All right. So, number five, The Family Stone. The Love what? The Family Stone. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It's a movie like this family all comes home for Christmas and like whatever. And the mom is sick. And it's kind of like the movie Stepmom, but a Christmas time movie. Gets me every time for obvious reasons. I Family Stone is great. Um, okay. Home Alone Part Two probably more than Part One. Yeah. I, only want, I only want to put one of them in the top five, so I'm going to say Part Two. Um, Bad Santa was a good one for me that for the comedy side. Love it. Christmas Vacation, love Christmas Vacation. It's a good one too. And probably Just do top ten. Uh, what, what's no, the one with uh, Michael Keaton? 10. When he's a um, snowman. Jack Frost. Jack Frost. Love Jack Frost. So sad, bro. I just I have, recently I, I watched could that do shit. a top. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. I could do a top ten, like you guys are saying, because there are a couple other ones that I would love to name. But that's oh, yeah, my yeah. solid top five. I'm gonna cut myself off like Danny can't because I know do he's, you gonna wanna, I do not he's gonna give me like. Your, can I go first or can you go ahead? No, Joe. Go ahead, Joe. Five. Man, go first. Like, I feel like yeah. Go ahead. You feel like what? I feel like you would say stuff that I'd be like, damn, I wanted to say that one. No, nah, I already know. Miracle on 34th Street. Really? Movie? Yeah. It's That's my, a good like, Christmas movie. That literal was the first time I ever saw a movie. Christmas movie. It's just That's so a good, good one, bro. I love it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> bad Santa. No, no, no. I'm oh. sorry. What am I saying? Not bad Santa. Oh, no. What are you and saying? And now, now you messed me up. All right. It's not in order, but Four Christmases. Great movie. Okay. It's gone. You know that movie? Great movie. Yeah. When he goes to the four different family Christmas. I love when he goes to his brothers. And his Jingle dad. all the way. Great I movie, was, Arnold. I was going to say that. I, I forgot. was going to say that. Damn it. Jamie. I love that movie. Jamie, daddy will catch you. No, that's. <laughs> Turbo <the> Man. <laughs> I need the Turbo Man doll. <laughs> um, oh, shit. What was the other one? Now I was laughing. I forget. Hold on. Hold on. Let me think. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Eight, eight crazy nights. That's a eight good one. Movie. Love that Christmas. That's a good funny one. <laughs> what is that? Is that four? Mm -hmm. I think that was four. Oh my god, what was my last one? Because now I'm, I'm forgetting. Really surprised if neither one of you said like say my sixth. I know what your sixth is. I'm gonna say it. I hope so. What? I'm gonna have to come back with you when I think of it. You're gonna come back? Yeah. Damn, homie. 
All right. So not order. My top 10 would be <laughs> top 10. Five. <laughs> no, I'm Cut just it. kidding. All right. <laughs> We're going to put Home Alone and Home Alone 2 split skis. Yep, All right. So that's here. obvious. The Grinch, brother. Okay. I got to I got to do the Grinch. Elf Jim carries the Grinch. Yeah, Jim carries Grinch. Okay. Elf. Great um movie. that I, was that's I, on my top 10. That would have been really Yeah. Um I was going to sing Jingle All the Way, but he said it, so I'm kind of like against it, but I'll say it anyway. So we'll go with Jingle All the Way. Um You know what? The, the movie Noel was very good. It's not, I'm not really? going to throw it up there. I'm not going to throw it in my top, it. It my top it. but it was a good. It was a very good one. Um, Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Oh, oh that, that was it. Santa movie. Claus. And okay. then, that was my number five. So good. That's my number seven. That was seven? Okay. You so still haven't lastly, said six yet. Well, the movie The Ref I have with Dennis more. Leary is fucking hysterical. And if you guys yeah. haven't seen it, you need to see it. But I also Scrooge is very good movie. with Bill Murray. Nobody mentioned and Christmas Nightmare Story. Before Christmas. That's it. I'm done. Christmas That's my stories. Ten. All right. Can I just say one more? The Red Room. And you, you guys, you guys should know it, and it, you know it's a Muppets Christmas Crap. Oh, I love a Muppets Christmas, Christmas Crap. I watch all my kids all the time. You kidding me? <laughs> I love Muppets Christmas. Yo, Muppets, I actually, that's my even shit. now, top I love six. watching that's the new Muppets Babies with the kids. Love Muppet Babies. Yo, the shit. Solid no. question, Joe. Oh, you guys one, more, one more. One more. One more. Let's see if you know this one. Um, it's a, Actually, it is a Christmas movie. Nicolas Cage. Can you guess it? Family Man. Yeah. Love it. So good. Bro. Good movie. Very good, good movie. Good movie. Great movie. Very okay, good I'm lesson done. to be learned behind that, too. Yep. I'm done. 100%. I think most Christmas movies have that. Yeah, don't be a dick. And, and I mean, <laughs> just for shits and giggles, you got Ernest. All Ernest movies. So, oh, yeah. Ernest Christmas. Oh, my guys. I do like <laughs> Ernest. I do like the Ernest. Come on. The bro. best one, though, was the one with the You troll. want me to keep going? Like, you know what I mean? The one Go that. That the, the original Ernest that with the troll in the treehouse or whatever, yes. that was still the best one though. Uh-huh. That was. I legit haven't seen any of those since like 94, 95. Me neither. Honestly, now that we're saying that too, I would love to go back and watch that. I don't even know. Are like, oh, you guys wait, wait, wait. wait one Which more, one was one that more. called anyway? Hold on. What was the Ernest goes to jail? <laughs> was it go no, that wasn't goes to jail. Oh, that one specifically? I don't know. I Joe, are you thinking of another Christmas movie? I am with uh the fat guy from Buck, John De- and oh, uh, Uncle Buck. Uh, yeah. planes, 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 trains, planes, trains, and automobiles. and automobiles. Yes, great movie, great fucking movie. That's a good oh, movie. I I Honestly, one, you know what I like I too? Though. I always liked the, the original old cartoon, like Mr. Snow, uh, Frosty the Snowman. Yep, yeah, so, like, the Abominable or... Snowman, okay, and like all yes. those old ones. Like I do like those. Like that was more Tell like me. our parents' time, but I still yes. do like watching those every once in a while too. Fam, when yeah. Chip and Dale were in Mickey Mouse's tree with Pluto <laughs> and he's chopping down the motherfucker and they're like, squeak, 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 squeak. And Pluto's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. that's, I fucking love that shit. That's you so have funny. to think about the nostalgia in that and what it's like to be a child watching those fucking cartoons and just mm-hmm. like, yeah, this is the shit. I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. Wake up Saturday morning cartoons, white snow outside, presents, Christmas all day. And then you wake up <laughs> and you're like, Actually, Get some spit on your face. I'm sorry. Have to be an adult and be responsible. <laughs> I wanted to say that before and I didn't get to I know. You didn't see it. I said it. So, you guys, do you guys um, build gingerbread houses or like make cookies and stuff like that? I've done it. No, I feel like Joe would do that. Before. I feel like Alyssa would make you do that. No. No, you don't? Frank, you either? hates Christmas. She'll burn down the gingerbread house. I've never done it with the kids now, but never in the past. I've don't be talking actually, about she's my Grinch. She's, she's your Illuminati, Grinch. bro. Get it right. <laughs> she's she. We labeled that already. You can't change now. She's all um, the above. <laughs> I've actually never made gingerbread cookies. I like the smell of it when someone else is baking it and the taste. That shit's delicious. Um, any cookies but, that are being baked on Christmas time is just yeah, it smells so good because the other side like is weather. Um. I really like gingerbread houses. I've only made two in my life. One when I was a child, probably around like fifth grade. And then I was with 
my ex, who I will not mention, Melissa, and we built this dope ass fucking gingerbread house. It was huge. If we were to enter a fucking contest, I guarantee you we'd win. Yo, guaranteed. Did, did you know that Edward Scissorhands is technically considered in the? You Christmas know what's movie? funny? I Not recently anymore. watched it for Halloween. Yes, technically it's a Christmas. He does movie, the ice but... sculpture and like whatever, and it's the holiday scenes and stuff. So they say like it's Christmas related. I did not yeah. know that. Mm. Oddly enough, it's similar to Die Hard, I would guess. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, yeah. In that Just because it's around that time over there, you know? But um, you guys decorate your houses? Always. Fuck yeah. Lights, tree. The everything. inside. Last yeah. Year, dude, last year I went all Big out time. too because I had a little extra money. I bought this dope like thing that goes in the wall. It's like a picture frame of like a car in the snow and then there's glass in front of it and there's a fan and it blows like these little styrofoam balls so it looks like real snow is falling in front of the oh, car. That's cool. And then I got this thing that goes in my front top step. It's like a little like it looks like a like a lamp or like a, a street light or whatever. And it has snow that like blows inside the light and it has like a sign on it and whatever. Both of them were awesome. Love it. That's dope. Joe, you I decorate the area. inside, you don't decorate the outside. I'm sorry, Frank. Go ahead. No, I was saying, I got I mean, where where I live now, I really can't. You could, so I mean, like you could my f- my family home, window. like yeah, we decorated for Christmas. I mean, you decorate the inside, so. though, I'm sure. Still, so. yeah, I can. I decorate the whole inside of my fucking house. Yeah, that's Christmas what throws up inside I my house. Love yeah, exactly. that shit, fam. I can't wait, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna decorate the fuck out of Christmas. <laughs> I actually want to do one of those, like you know, when someone throws the like the grenade in the room, closes it, and then it's all decorated. I want to do that this year with my Christmas decorations. Like, oh, like you a, should do a that. Christmas ball in the living room, and then like all of a sudden, boom, and have everything done. Because I, what I you, do. What you should yeah. do for a tick. What you should do for your TikTok is get like you know those round little ornaments, like the glass yeah. ones. Like yeah, like the, the ball, ball. Christmas ball. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You should like, get it to grenade. start your TikTok. Like yeah, and just throw that up in the air, and yep. then do your little transition video where boom, it exactly. lands. In. It's Christmas. That's, that's my exact idea. I want to do the like, let's go out, and then the grenades out too, and then when it goes off, change to like Mariah Carey Christmas or something like that. Or you could be like looking at a fucking ornament, like a real close zoom in, and like zoom out, and then your shit's like fucking. Oh, that's. Am I making oh, sense? Like, zoom into the ornament. Yes. Right. Like it's, yeah. like it's it's regular, cool. and then you zoom into the audience. Audience? No. Ornament. What the fuck? <laughs> and then you the back up. I wish I had an audience. No, she, but that would be cool. That would be cool too. Joe, I wanted to ask you before. Um, when I mentioned the Disney College program, when you went yes. down there, was that winter, spring, or or summer? Did you experience a winter, a Christmas down there? Yeah, bro. It's, okay, back on tradition. Can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> I'm glad because I was about to mention a tradition before he said this. I was going to say something. So get it, it, another tradition that kind of developed later in my years. So like up until recently, like three years ago, I think it was the last time we went, but it was like the past five years before that we would go for Christmas and New Year's to Disney and specifically spend New Year's at Epcot. And like, That's if you cool. haven't gone, Epcot turns into a fucking absolute madhouse of a celebration and it's like they celebrate literally their new year's all around the world and right. it's like there's what dj set up here what big things set up there and yes that was like a big tradition and like yes i did do disney around christmas time and it's probably one of the better times because everything is oh, yeah. so incredible there you know it's disney they fucking Dude, show like time everything by 10 you know no, it's nuts now you one know, of the yes, things that i, I was, was there during christmas Frank, uh, like, before you get into a tradition, I want to piggyback off what he was saying because if you haven't been to Disney for Christmas time, Frank, I'm 100 percent oh, extra magical. You go. I have it's it's retarded. Excuse extra my language, magical. but it's like it's so out there. Like, dude, there's there's fucking fake snow off the roofs being fucking blessed onto you, and what? everywhere it's smells. It's Disney, bro. What do you you know? Everything it's smells. It's not fake delicious. snow. It's real snow. It's just artificial. It's so artificial. It's okay, like, but right. it's still snow. It's like, but like ice. It's like off the top of the roof. Every single fucking building. So you you're getting snowed on, mm-hmm. and then you got Mickey fucking waving. Hey, what's up, everybody? Dude, the whole thing is just it's so warm. You know what I mean? There he is. Okay, There's the mouse. Right? I love Disney. I rep him every day, bro. Well, <laughs> it's tradition that I wear that. my hat every day. No, this is what I wanted to piggyback on. Yes, this is what I love Disney. 
when I was younger and it, I might've been between, I guess, like four and nine, I was like basically the only person that my family got presents for until my sister, I would get Disney toys. I got like little action figures, whatever, whatever. I get like um, the movies, the VHS. Mm -hmm. So after some time, and I might be like 13 or 14 at the time, everyone's exchanging gifts. My aunt Diane gets me a fucking Pocahontas book <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm like, Aunt Diane, I'm, I'm 14 years old. I don't want this anymore. You're like, I felt like a dick, but I was like, you know, what am I going to do with this? And she's, she laughs at it every year. She always brings it up. So well, shout out to her for keeping the tradition going. But at the same time, <laughs> you know, that's awesome. there comes a point where at 14 years old, I'm not going to push the sound of leaves. And it's going to go shh, 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 when I'm reading the book. You know what I'm saying? Wait, the, the, that song is one of your favorite it, songs, though. Yeah, it is, 100%. But, like, the book had the sound things on the side oh, I know, where you I'm just leave you. and go, fuck off, bro. <laughs> what is it, Colors of the Wind? That's one of your favorite songs. Yeah, it is. It's so peaceful. And if you really listen to the words of the song, it's all about, you know, just being a good fucking person. So that's it. That's why I miss Christmas. I never listened to that song enough when I was little. Bro, I'll just listen to it once and listen to the <laughs> words. What is what they're saying? But no but so i was gonna say shit. before what i was saying about like how i can't wait to do that video this year is because one of our traditions actually and this is something that i have to say yeah i'm realizing it as it's still a tradition me and Karen have been together going on 12 years now or 12 or 13 it's gonna be i don't know 12 to 13 christmas but we have an ornament that we get every year like we always got like a family oh, right ornament, like a new like a year Karen ornament like right. oh yeah this year most of us. so we've had that for the last like 12 years and ever since the kids have been born we've gotten them an ornament also as well Oh, we shit. usually get a new Halloween decoration pretty much every year. So like over the last like 12 years. So when me and Karen first started our Christmas together as a couple and everything, we went right. out and got a bunch of generic like Christmas balls, all different shapes and colors, whatever. And that was our tree. And then we got a real ornament and we put that on the tree with the balls. And then every year we've got the balls. Other ones. <laughs> and then every year we've gotten like other new ones, like one new one. Other. So now that's 12 years later. I can't even put any of the generic Christmas balls on my tree because I have so many custom ornaments. So when I decorate my tree, it's all custom ornaments because Karen has some now that she's gotten like since her mom passed. She has some that are from her childhood. I got some that are from like me when I was younger. We have the ones that we've gotten together. Some people have gotten ornaments for the kids and this, that. So now after like 10 years of us having ornaments, I have enough ornaments that are custom to just fill up my tree with our own ornaments that aren't Fuck that's pretty ones. dope i and like I that. love it that's my favorite thing about our christmas now like as a family and the four of us that like our tree is literally memories of all of our christmases together that's awesome yeah. that's dope so i wanted to end on that <laughs> okay we can end on that that works frank joe you guys have anything else to say no i'm good not even merry, like merry merry, merry merry christmas you filthy animal there we go happy new year <laughs> everybody please have a safe and happy holiday i hope you're with your loved ones from everybody here at the specialist of nothing everyone meeting us three we wish you all a very merry christmas thank you all for the likes listen shares and follows and okay joe tell everybody say tell them tell them say merry christmas again one more time i want to hear it i want you to wish me a merry christmas i'll wait i'll wait it's fine i'll wait I'm going to wait.